I spent the day playing Tarkov in some of the most intense CQB areas in the game with the goal of gaining enough confidence before the day ends to win a PvP fight in one of the hardest maps, the lab. But there's a problem. I'm most comfortable winning fights at a distance, as I'm not the most mechanically gifted gamer. But today, I'm going to challenge myself to get up close and personal with enemy players. And we begin our journey in the reserve military base, where I had to kill five raiders for a quest in the underground bunker. These guys are highly trained AI with really good gear. They're deadly if you're not careful. That's two of five raiders down, but there should be one more in here. Oh my lord. That's three down. With a loot extract and reset for another set of raiders and to add to the intensity this area can be riddled with heavily geared players to my surprise though i was uncontested and got out safe but this wasn't going to be the case for the next one as i return to the underground bunker to look for more raiders i hear squad coming down oh they turned on the power there the switch trying to get a reaction out of them to get more info on their positioning and how many they are but they're playing quiet refusing to give me any info still nothing oh they snuck up behind me that's strafe That guy. Oh my god, got both. Oh boy. How many more? I heard someone step on metal. Listening for footsteps while we pack a mag. Definitely one more. gonna run. I hit him pretty good. To relieve some pressure on my position, I decided to push and clear the path where I initially saw our enemy. Okay, he might have run off, but I don't know. I return to my victims just to take a quick peek at what my winnings so far were, just for a little morale boost in the moment. These guys are decently geared. I gotta start moving. My hydration is going down. So I'm gonna pre paint then clear out the area before I start looting and then get out of here. So I did exactly that and found no one else until I made a full circle back. There's a guy. Got him. Oof. I think he was looking at me for a while too. After clearing the area, I confirmed that I am the last man standing. I looted up my winnings and survived with a total of four PMC kills. Still needing two raider kills, I returned and finally got the job done. 
There we go. Greater quest complete. But unfortunately, while looting, I got caught with my pants down. Oh no! I wanted to move on to our next map, but couldn't leave reserve on a loss. So I came back for one more and heard some company. Tap them. They didn't hear me. That was perfect. I looted up and got some good gear out of these two. Then extracted to move on to our next map, Interchange, where I had to kill three more players at night for one of my quests. While not known to be a CQB map, the engagements in here can be intense, especially in the mall. And a few minutes after spawning in, I hear shots going down just below me. I take a peek and find this. There he was. That's one player down. Two more. I then went down to loot my kill, but then... Another one. It seems like many others are also on the way to investigate the noise. And true enough, while looting, someone throws a grenade at me, prompting me to reposition to get an angle on where I think it came from. Sadly, I find nothing. It seems like the guy not only extracted out of the map, but also took the loot of my first kill. I decided to extract from here, looking to return for that one more player kill at night. I went straight into the middle of the mall this time and approached the first gunshots I heard. Sounds like it was just in front of me here. There's a scav. Oh, keep him alive. Oh, he aggroed on someone. Chumming done. That's where he was. I tucked into a corner to repack my mags while I wait to hear if there's another. While doing so, I heard creeping next to me. Someone's creeping near the body I killed. Did loot my kill. With the job done, I took my winnings and extracted, feeling really good about myself so far. I'm slowly gaining confidence to get into the lab, but before that, I wanted to get a really good warm up in the infamous dormitories in Customs, where I had to place three gold chains in a microwave at the third floor for a quest. But it's not gonna be as easy as it sounds, because I'll have to fight my way up there in one of the most intense CQB areas in Tarkov. If I survive this, I'll be confident enough to take on the lab. It's a lot of boys though. We gotta find another way in. healing. Good time to push. Got him! Let's go! 
have to have confidence in my push. I gotta heal up all these broken limbs, man. After fully healing up, I looted up my kills and found some pretty good stuff. A nice SA-58 and level 5 armor. I quickly swapped my body armor for his, then went up to the second floor to clear Rashal and his boys. This map's scav boss. I quickly looted up, did my quest, but then, before I could get out of here safely, I hear more company below. There's one more throw grenade. See if anyone reacts. Yep, there's one more. Pretty well. Oh, this one was a scav. Ooh, I'm feeling it though. I'm feeling it. That was a good kill on the first guy. 5 for 5. Okay, level 54. I didn't kill this guy. Oh, I killed it. Wait, it's a duo. I killed one with F1. Ooh, he is looted up. After sweeping up all the loot with a successful 4 PMC kill run, I felt ready for the ultimate CQB raid in the lab. Of the 5,000 hours I've played Tarkov, I'd say about 100 has been spent in the lab. It's my first time back in here in nearly a year. Because I'm ignorant of what's good in here and what to loot, I had a simple goal. To win a PvP fight, then survive an extract. So I went after the first shots I heard, which was by the cafeteria. I hear someone near. First kill in labs in a very long time. Is there one more though? Wow, oh, level 53, party 704. And he's got VP rounds, best in the game. While looting up, I hear shots nearby. So I finished up, then decided to check out what those gunshots were all about. I think it's by red. <laughs> you go for that. But as I got to where I think it was, the fight was done and long gone. Uh, that's where the dead body is. It was pretty quiet from here, so I went for extract. But on my way out... Ooh, okay, those are raiders.
Let's loot some raiders. Once I filled up my bag with every little thing I could get, I safely got out on a high, feeling great knowing even an average gamer like myself could hang in the lab. As we smashed our goal for the day, I still had one more in me, so I ran it back one more time. Is this where black is? I think it is. I think I just white keep this. Oh! Again, just confidence in the white peak and just confidence in peaking. Just knowing that I can't keep up, not telling myself that I can't straight up. This is the moment that changed everything for me. I've always put myself in a box that I'm a sniper kind of guy. I can only fight at a distance and I'm not great with close range stuff. But today, I proved to myself that I'm more than that. GG. After healing up, I went on to loot my kill, but then... Oh boy. What goes up must come down. If you want to catch another story of proving myself wrong, don't miss this video right here. Thank you to the patrons of the channel, Yang, Fluffy Hamster, Blossom, Smotty, Lightning Deathbringer, and Tim.